Ladies and gentlemen, Zombies is back. For those of you guys that may not know, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows by now, but if you don't, at the end of the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer, we were given a small teaser that gave us a glimpse of what Zombies would look like in Black Ops Cold War. Keep in mind, this was a very small teaser. It was only like 10 seconds, maybe even nine to eight seconds to be exact. So in this video, I am going to be breaking down pretty much everything we were able to see in the small teaser. Now, real quickly, before I get into today's video, I just want to mention that today, as of recording this video, September 16th, out of nowhere, we got news that there is going to be an open alpha for Black Ops Cold War starting on September 18th through the 20th, and that's basically this coming Friday through the weekend. Unfortunately, there is bad news, and that is this is exclusively for PS4 players only. If you're on Xbox or PC, you will not be able to experience this open alpha. I know, I know, guys. It's very unfortunate, but Sony has an exclusivity contract with Activision, which allows PS4 players to play the beta and alpha earlier than xbox and pc players and also enjoy some events in the game earlier so yeah again very unfortunate and this situation is very similar to that of the 2v2 alpha that we got last year for modern warfare so yeah guys if you're on ps4 be ready to experience the alpha this friday and enjoy it through the weekend i know i am <laughs> oh my goodness guys i'm super ready and hyped i cannot wait and I hope that school does not get in my way. Luckily, it's going to be for the weekend starting this Friday as well. So I'm just going to forget about school completely and enjoy this alpha. <laughs> but anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with breaking down the 10 second zombie teaser. So in the first scene, the first thing I was able to notice right off the get go was the beautiful music of the Juggernaut Jingo. And this made me very happy because I personally did not really like the new perk system in Black Ops 4. Sure, it was a great new innovation, but at the same time, it wasn't that great to me because I just didn't like the way it worked. I didn't like how you had to pick four perks and unless you did an easter egg set to get an extra free perk or maybe you had perkaholic, you were not going to be able to get any more perks but those four perks you picked. Not to mention, the perk jingles were gone. What happened to the Juggernaut jingle, the Speed Cola jingle, the Double Tap jingle, the Widow's Wine jingle, you know, all the perk jingles. I just, <laughs> it felt very different not hearing those jingles every time you um, got a perk. We were also able to see some stairs going up with some graffiti on the wall next to them and some people are speculating that these stairs are the same stairs we have in Nocturne on Toten or maybe even Transit. I guess there's an underground part in Transit where we were able to see this certain location. So I'm not really sure, guys. A lot of people are thinking that we're probably going to be getting a Transit remake or maybe even a Nocturne on Toten remake, but I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. A Transit remake would definitely make more sense than the Nocturne on Toten remake because, oh my goodness, guys, how many times have we seen Nocturne on Toten being remastered in Call of Duty Zombies by now? Maybe like four to five times. <laughs> So transit is more reasonable and I if this is transit then yeah We're most likely gonna see a remake of that map, which will be nice now before we get into the next scene Of course we had a transition which it is very hard to depict anything from these transitions because you have to load them frame by frame if you want to see anything that's going on and the only thing I was able to pick out was a character which I'm not sure who this is right here it kind of looks familiar to me obviously from the black ops universe but I cannot really tell you guys who this is exactly. Now that I look at it for a little bit longer, I can't even tell if this is a male or female. So if you guys have any idea on who this is, be sure to let me know in the comments down below because oh my goodness, Treyarch does do a great job on hiding characters and other Easter eggs through their transitions. In the second scene, we are now in a very dark room. The only source of light we have is the flashlight underneath our M1911, which by the way, I forgot to mention, that is an M1911 we are holding and we can see a monkey bomb, the good old monkey bomb from Zombies. It is still playing the good old song that it has always played and it is very interesting to see the monkey bomb back in this game because from what I've heard we are going to be getting a completely new storyline for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So to see the monkey bomb back in this game, it kind of hints that we are going to maybe see the return of Ether, which I am 100% excited for that. I have never gotten bored of Ether, and oh my goodness, guys, I just, I can't wait. In the next transition, we can see a very familiar character from Black Ops 1 campaign who had an eye patch, and that is the one and only Weaver. Hmm, what is Weaver doing in the Zombies teaser? I wonder, but there is one possibility. Weaver could be one of the newest characters in the new crew, if there is a new crew, in Zombies. And this would be very interesting because, again, 
Weaver was originally a campaign character, not a zombies character, and this is not the first time we see this happen because <laughs> John F. Kennedy and Castro from Black Ops 1 became zombie characters when they were originally campaign characters. So again, this wouldn't be surprising if it happened, but it would also be interesting because out of all people, I never expected Weaver to become a zombies character. In the third scene, we are still in a very dark room, but now we can see a machine of some kind. And if I were to take three very good guesses, I would say that this is either a death ray, like the one from Horizon Drop, maybe just a trap or a teleporter and of course underneath that machine we have a crowd of zombies ready to tear us apart and it looks like they only noticed us because we flashed the flashlight at them and I don't know if this is maybe a new feature where if we flash a uh, flashlight at zombies they will notice us and if we don't then we can maybe get away from them and they won't be able to see us or maybe that was just how Treyarch made it look in the trailer just to make it look cool. And finally, we turn to the left and get attacked by one zombie concluding this teaser. So again guys, it was a very small teaser, but based off of what we were able to see, it kind of tells us what zombies may be like in the next COD game. For example, the Juggernaut Jingle hints the OG perk system making a return, the Monkey Bomb hints Aether making a return, the zombies looking the way they look pretty much confirms that it is still gonna be like OG zombies from Treyarch, etc. Now something that I also noticed was the dark room. The only way to see in that dark room is by having the source of light, which in this case was the flashlight attachment on our M1911. And that leads me to believe that there may be many dark rooms and the only way to see perfectly in them is by having a source of light. Or maybe all the dark rooms will light up once you turn on the power and you will no longer need a source of light. And I mention this because I don't think we've ever had this before in Zombies where the only way to see in the dark room is by having a flashlight or something. And honestly, I am already liking this new addition if it is a new addition because it kind of adds horror to the game. I mean, think about it. You're in a dark room with a bunch of zombies and you can't see them unless you have a source of light. Obviously, there are many things we still don't know about for example what maps are we going to be getting on launch uh who are the characters going to be are we going to be getting chaos characters back which i highly doubt maybe ether characters victus characters or is it going to be a completely new crew which is what i think will be since we're going to be getting a new storyline is the mystery box still going to be here which oh my goodness now that i mentioned that imagine if we were able to see or hear the mystery box in this teaser that would be crazy are there going to be many easter eggs many wonder weapons and much more you know there's just a lot that still is unanswered i'm really hoping we get a zombies reveal trailer sooner or later because it is going to be very exciting and remember guys this is treyarch we are talking Talking about Treyarch has obviously been known to do zombies the best because of their amazing storylines and I just cannot wait man but anyways that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video and I know it might have been a shorter one than my usual videos but again this was a very short teaser and we were only able to depict so much so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever i upload let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for the return of zombies because i know i am i have not played any zombies recently and like i've said before i am refreshed and ready to play zombies again it's also been a while since i've live streamed zombies or played zombies for a video so come november 13th expect some zombies content but anyways guys for the last time thank you guys so much for watching if you have Make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Thursday. And without that being said, it's been John, ready to get back on the grind and ready to make a return on zombies as well. And I'm out. Peace.